Hey, good morning, everyone. We are live here in the studios today. I have Charlene Gordon, co-chair of the Stratford Home and Leisure Show. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, I'm so pleased that we are so close to feeling like it's almost spring. Yes. It's in the air. Well, it, we've, oh, we're almost at Groundhog Day. True enough. That's a turning true point. Enough. Yes. So February 1st, and I'm thinking to myself, we're two and a half months away from the Stratford Home and Leisure Show. And so we wanted to have a little chat with you this morning. It's an exciting time, and yes. I'm delighted to be working with you this year on the, on the show and having sort of the behind the scenes. We wanted to share with you what is going on because there are so many new things happening this year. They are, and I want to start by saying, you're one of the new things happening oh, this well, year. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, yeah there it's, you it's go. freshened up the show. We realize this show has a 34-year history. 34. This year's 34? This year is 34. Oh, it's gosh, had a couple of different really names over the yes, years. Yes. But um, 34 years we've been doing this, this show, focusing on, on home and leisure in Stratford. And um, we recognize, though, as organizers, it's important to be fresh, to roll over, to understand what trends are happening out there. And you're one of our fresh items well, this year. So thank you. You know what? It's, it's almost like going back in time because, as you said, it's had different names, but yes. when I worked 20 some odd years ago at the radio station, right. then it was a home show, you know, and I helped yeah. to organize it back then. So this is like revisiting uh, good times, right? Well, yeah, well, it this is. is like taking a step back in time. I love it. Yes. <clears throat> so, um, so with that said and done, this year's show, um, it's, it's coming together very well. We're just about at the 70% mark for exhibitor bookings. We've got some more booths. We know there's a few folks out there that have said verbally, we're in, they haven't registered yet. So Which will anyone, take us up to at least probably 85%. Yeah, so yeah. Um, uh, we're, here we are the 1st of February, and the show's um, April 13th to 15th. So it's time to get registrations in there and block your space. Uh, and again, we're holding over some good things that have worked well for us over the years, our IKEA floor plan. Every visitor to the show goes past every booth because that's how the flow of the floor plan goes. And we have some new things. We're really excited about our craft brewery spirits and distillery section this yeah, year. Yeah, that is new. And I'm excited about it as well. So we had talked about that mm -hmm. and doing something new. So as part of and I, if I go back for a second about the IKEA, because I had mm -hmm. to ask you, what is the IKEA style floor? And I thought, no, yeah, I get it. You yes. walk through IKEA, you go through literally yes. every part of that store. They've got it laid they, out in such a it, fashion. Perfectly, and you've done the exact same, and I'm looking at the layout, and you can also look at that too. So when you register, uh, first thing, yes. let's talk about registration, because you okay. can have a verbal, but you're not in until you've gone to the website and filled out the paperwork, and then we can see it, and then we can get you on the map, and then you're you're solid and good to go. Right. And the thing is, is if you have, we've got people that want prime space that, that have a requested space because they're moving something in, or they've got a hot tub, or they've got mm -hmm. something that they need specifically you know specific locations or yes. qualifications yes. for that right so if that's mm -hmm. you then definitely don't delay because we need to know that so mm -hmm. that you're on the map now how do you do that super simple you just go to Stratford home leisure show dot com so we don't have the and online so it's Stratford home leisure show dot com all the information's there from what's new how mm -hmm. to register to register when they are registered, you can see who's going to be at yes. the show. It's already there as well. Uh, yeah, lots There's of exhibitor guidelines online. Mm -hmm. If there are any questions you want to reference on things, we have the schedule online. When, um, uh, you can start moving in for setup, when teardown is. All those details that you need to know as an exhibitor to be able to organize your, your time, your, your staff, your, your vehicle movements, it's there. And this year is very easy for setup and teardown. Yes. Yeah, you've got time. You've got extra time. Yes. Um, sometimes um, we, we're on a constrained time period because of other shows being in the Stratford Rotary Complex. This year we don't have that constraint, so there's a little more freedom on that to get us set up. Not as much rush for the larger ones. And just the facility itself lends itself to a show because they've got the big doors that can roll up for big things to roll in. We have an on-site forklift that can happen with help with things. 
um, we set up the electrical, we post the signs. Um, we really, really try to give good customer service I was just to our say, exhibitors. You do, and you totally do. I've been in a lot of shows before with different uh, booths and for other other things that I'm involved in, and I can say you always go above and beyond. Uh, and that being said, too, it has been an absolute pleasure working with the Stratford Home Leisure mm -hmm. Show Committee. Oh, thank but you. But everybody yes. on the committee is yes. so dedicated. When we go to our meetings, I want you to know how much everyone cares for the success of the show, but also the success of all the businesses in and around Stratford, Perth yes. County, and yes. in and around the area. It really, to me, it's like going home. It's like it's like a family. And I think, to me, that's the best part of being as part of the show is that everyone's kind of coming to you. So you can yes. see everyone yes. all in three days under one roof, and not only people coming in, but other exhibitors that you haven't had a chance to see. Uh, because let's face it, the season gets busy, you get busy, and then you're into the spring and fling of things, really, right? Yes, like, yeah, that's right. You're off and yes. running. So this is really sort of that yes. kickstart, I guess you could say. I would agree. And I think, if I could call it maybe the icing on the cake, is every year we um, organize um, the exhibitor's dinner for the Saturday evening. Yes. The I'm show that. closes 6 o'clock on Friday night. And as soon as your booth is organized and shut down, you come over to the, the um, dinner area. There's some hors d'oeuvres. There's an opportunity to have a, a drink, a glass of wine. Do a little visiting. 6.30, we say a couple of words of appreciation to everyone. And we serve the, or the food line opens. Um, and we have an opportunity just to visit and relax for an hour. It's, it's not a long event because we know everyone's tired. They've had a long day, and but they're Sunday. hungry too. They're hungry, yeah. They're hungry, yeah. and no one wants to go home and make a meal after you've been on your feet all day. So we provide a really excellent meal catered by L and M Catering. Good homemade food. There's a chance to relax, to do some visiting, then go home and get ready for Sunday because there's one more day of the show. I think you like the Stratford Home and Leisure Show is literally the only show like this that ever has offered a meal. I've never been to one that has except for this. This, this is the feedback we do get from different exhibitors. That's cool. and, and I think it's cool. And, and we recognize that some people as well, because they're, they're coming from out of town, it's, it's more difficult for them to stay for the dinner. And we offer a takeout option as well. But the key to it is we offer a homemade meal at the end of the day as an appreciation um, for the fact you've been on your feet all day and you've participated in the show. And this is our little give back to everyone. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And so the other thing I was thinking, too, is even by the end of the show, let's say it's Saturday, because we're going to have a craft, spirits, brewery, mm -hmm. winery mm -hmm. section with a lounge area as you're walking through. So it's kind of midway through the show towards yes. the end. Yeah, yes. so you're halfway through. You've gone through. You have a little bit of a break. Hey, if you're, you have a booth, yeah. too, not to say you couldn't come over and take a little break or have that and bring that to dinner, perhaps, too, maybe. Yes, um, although we do have a small bar That's at right, the dinner yeah. as well. But um, I think that whole sampling section um, will be very intriguing to the public. Um, it is the Stratford Home and Leisure Show, and we've always had a good representation from companies doing renovations, windows, bathrooms, doing decor, um, real estate, uh, insurance, and uh, financing, mortgage options, lots of that side of things. And sometimes I think um, the leisure can get a little overlooked. So um, the We're pool and spa goes a long way that way. But for sure, when you're doing sampling with craft breweries or craft distilleries or craft wineries, we have a very fun leisure Yeah, we happening. are kicking leisure to a whole new yes. level this year yes. with that. And I believe the leisure part, some of that is close to the hot tub area, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And, and the gazebo areas, so there'll be sitting areas yes. and things. Like, yes. It's just going to, it is going to be great. And I hope you will be a part of it. So let's chat, uh, uh, let's go backwards for a second uh, mm -hmm. to the website, StraffordHomeLeisureShow.com. All the information is there. A couple of things we want to mention. Of mm -hmm. course, you, if you're tuning in right now yeah. and seeing this, we're live streaming. That's new this year, too. Yes. And what we're going to be doing, uh, there are some opportunities for you as a booth owner uh, to get in on a couple different ways to even advertise in advance. We're going to be going out and sharing information about who's going to be on site. If you want to get in, we have, I believe it's like two or three spots left yes. for this because it went very quickly. Uh, that we'll be going out in advance talking about the top 10 reasons to come and attend the Stratford Home Leisure Show, but I will be going to your business and mm -hmm. we'll talk about that, but we can also 
hands-on approach with the camera, go in and, and really get a VIP behind the scenes look as to anything you want to show and tell, you want to show and talk about. And we can do that in advance of the show. Now the other thing too, mm -hmm. so, so to explain that, if you are filling out the paperwork and it says upgraded advertising. That's, that you want to click on upgraded advertising and that puts you into the special live streaming package that is additional and new to this year's show. We're only accepting 10 businesses into that special upgraded live streaming package. And as Melissa said, seven have already gone. There's just three openings left, and it gets an on-site visit and profile of your business with Melissa. And you get to keep that video too. And what we'll also be doing, I, I won't tell you all the secrets here, but I'll show you how to optimize it, how to get a great distribution, how to get a great reach. Uh, we can talk about that strategy for you as well. So that's a lot of added value. Normally that goes for well over $500. You are only charging 200 yep. for an upgraded Bargain. advertising. So, I mean, they are doing an amazing job with this. And so that's a, another gift to you. So this kind of when it says upgraded advertising, this is taking your advertising. We're working on this right now with the Stratford Area Builders Association. Mm -hmm. So just as an example, if you were to go to their Facebook page, you'll see uh, a couple days ago I just did uh, one with R&D Development Group, for instance, right? Yes, with and Rob. Yeah, with Rob. And I think we've hit over 5,000. 6,000. Six, oh, that was 6,000 6, I can't even morning. keep track with that, yes. right? So it's still growing and going over 24, 48 hours, over a week. And I can show you how we get that reach and why we get that reach and how we are targeting the right people, too. So... Uh, Marketing has shifted and changed dramatically. I've yes. been in the business for over 20 years. I uh, worked in TV, radio, uh, you name it, and um, worked with print. And, and yes, it is all important, but we want to deliver results that work for you. Yeah. And, and absolutely, absolutely, and, and added, which is why we freshened value. it, yeah. because as you say, they're all important. You need all of those components. And they all have to work together. But and we you also need to be, be aware of when the new um, opportunities come yeah. on board, like live stream, yeah. and like, like that yeah. social media component. And um, we're really working on, on, and we've added that obviously this year, and by the end of it, we'll know what refinements we might need for next year. But I think it's going to make a, um, an excellent impact on visitor numbers to the show. Um, I, I am very comfortable in predicting we're, we're going to meet the 5,000 visitor mark oh, this year. Oh, I totally, yeah, yes. I, I and agree. That's a lot of traffic past anyone's booth in two and a half days. Yes. That's a lot of conversation. Not to mention, too, we're also going to be taking the live streaming through the three days of the show, and I'm going to be physically going through the show to all the booths, and we're going to live stream while we're there, too. So what that will do is if... Let's say someone is coming on, planning to come on Sunday, and they see a live stream on the Friday, they'll get a sense mm -hmm. of where they want to go, what they're going to see. We want to build everyone's familiarity with the location, with the booths, what's happening. So all of it together, I think, is yes. a great, it, it's yes. going to be fabulous. We just, we hope you will be there. Anything else you want to add? Lots of free parking. If yeah, you're from you out of town, don't too. worry about parking. That is awesome. Come. If you've ever done a Toronto show, I mean, I remember paying any of the shows, you're well, $350 to be in a show just yes. to park in, a, in addition to everything else, in addition to all of the other fees. Like, there's all these hidden fees, right? Half the time for shows? Yes. There's none of that here. Free parking, that's a good one. I didn't even think of that. Yes. Yeah. It's an important one, too. No. I think I just echo um, your comments at the beginning where it's, it's a hard working committee and they really believe in customer service and um, we're, um, we're here to support the exhibitors because as they say, if you're successful, we're successful. It's a win-win for everybody. And because this is co-organized by the Stratford Area Builders Association and the Rotary Club of Stratford, we take the money we earn from the show and put it towards lots of excellent community projects. So we do want a win-win for everybody. Mm -hmm. So it wins for you, the business owner, for visibility and our community as well. Thank All right. Thanks, Charlene. You have a great day, a great week. It's February 1st. We've got two and a half months until the Stratford Home and Leisure Show is going to be here. So don't delay April 13th to the 15th. It's 2018. And like we're saying here, it's the Stratford Home and Leisure Show like you've never seen it before. So we want you there. Head to StratfordHomeLeisureShow.com. Fill in the paperwork, and you'll be set to go, and we will see you there. Bye, Mom. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.